right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Howdy! Howdy YouTube! Darlington Farm here. Well, as you can kind of see from that, I got a low speed DC motor, a motor controller, and a foot switch. So basically what I'm doing is I am building a uh, weld positioner. Uh, I've got a chuck over here that I picked up off eBay. And uh, what I'm doing is I've got some leftover parts here, a uh, shaft, some pillow block bearings, uh, and I now need to make a flange. Uh, so basically, if you are not familiar, uh, what a weld positioner is, is a machine that with a three jaw chuck on it, basically is to slowly spin uh, round parts to where you can weld them. Um, a lot of them have a through shaft, where you can back purge, say like on stainless steel sanitary tubing from the backside with argon. Um, I am not doing that on this one just because I had some bearings left over from another project. So I probably am going to end up regretting that in the future. But uh, for the time being, I am just building this with a three quarter keyed shaft because that's what I had laying around. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is keep this build under uh, under about 300 bucks. I think I said in my last video it's probably going to be a little bit more than that. Just mainly it's under 300 because I had the bearings and stuff left over. Um, just a Chiwanese 8 inch 3 jaw chuck here that uh, I picked up for like 8 or uh, not 800 bucks. I picked up for 130 bucks I think. Here you go. CME right there self-cleaning or self self-centering not self-cleaning there's the model number there um i think it was like 130 bucks so not a bad deal and uh it's uh basically if you've never seen one of these here's the key you stick it in here and twist it and it adjusts all three of them at once which is nice to where it centers whatever you have in there which is going to be uh, important here in just a minute when we go to make the plate that attaches this to our shaft. Um, if you have a lathe, this would be really easy to do. I don't have one yet, so what I'm doing, uh, I've got one of my little pulley adapters here. I've got another one here. This is actually going to go from the shaft to this piece of 5 16 plate here. Um, I just kind of laid it out this morning. And, uh, uh, oh, I guess I should show you how to do that. So I, this chuck has three mounting bolts on there that you mount this to, I'm assuming a tapered flange or a tapered shaft or flange rather on a lathe. What I'm doing is I am just going to cut out, as you can see here, a round piece, um, bolt it to this chuck and then weld this guy in the middle there and then have my flange or not have my shaft attached to my flange like that however this needs to be pretty close to centered so without being able to turn this guy on a lathe and then make your bolt holes it's a little difficult so what i'm going to do uh, is i just took a piece of paper like this held it on here took a pencil and got my three mounting holes, laid it out here, and took a centering punch, or not a centering punch, but an automatic punch, and just made a little punch hole there uh, to center a drill bit so I can go ahead and drill those holes in an accurate spot. Then, what I'm going to do, once I have this bolted on there, uh, I can take this guy here, chuck it up in the middle there since this will center whatever is in there, mark it, and I'm going to go ahead and drill an inch diameter hole that I can then slide this guy through. And since this will be centered in the chuck here, I can slide this guy on the back side since my shaft will then be centered relative to the chuck. Are you with me here? Yeah, this guy will be centered because it has this guy centered up in the chuck. And then I can, on the back side, slide this guy on and weld it on my flange here. 
And in theory, it should be pretty close to being true. Now, again, this is not a lathe, this is just for welding. So if it's off 10 thousandths, I don't care, that's good enough. So this should get me to good enough. Um, I'm probably just gonna build the rest of the frame for this guy here out of one inch square tubing. And then I haven't exactly decided on kind of the mounting uh, bracket. I was planning on making a deal where I can have it to where it'll pivot up and down like this so I can have it vertical as a turntable or pivoted horizontal there. Um, so kind of building this from the seat of my pants as I go along here. I don't really have a set, you know, set of blueprints. Um, the reason I'm building this is basically because if you go to buy one of these, they're about three thousand uh, dollars. You can get a used one for a thousand bucks. Since I had a lot of the parts for this laying around, I was able to I'm able to get this you know under say four hundred dollars. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Um, I guess I can show you the motor here. This is a, a low speed Dayton geared motor that I picked up off eBay. Uh, for it was like 130 bucks shipped to my house uh, It's zero to 50 rpms, and then I, it came with a motor controller And the reason I'm not really showing you how to wire this guy in is because this thing was pre-wired um, If you look you can find some ones like that. All I did was added a switch down here uh, And I probably should put some different plugs on this just so I can don't accidentally plug this into the wrong thing, but I just had a foot switch down here. This is just a square D foot switch left over off of a piece of machinery I scrapped a long time ago. And uh, just have this wired to where this turns it off. Now this motor will go really slow. I guess I can show you this here. So there's my shaft. So that is way too fast. That's as fast as it goes. And then you can turn it down way, way low to where, you know, it is super, super slow. And I'm probably going to do a little bit of gear reduction between the motor and my shaft there. Uh, I haven't exactly decided uh, on the size of the pulleys on the motor and on my shaft. So I'm going to figure that out kind of as I get a little bit further along here. But I'm thinking maybe about a half half uh, reduction to where you know like the motor or the pu pulley on the motor is about twice is about half the diameter of the one on the shaft there so I can really get it nice and slow so I'm going to uh, put the camera down here and kind of get to work one of those times where yay <laughs> my holes all line up usually if you know you do look the little tracing thing trick here 
where you just hold a piece of paper on something, trace it, it actually works. But uh, I've had a couple times where I was just a little off, but today, perfect fit. So now what we got to do is go ahead and get our center hole lined up here, and I'll go ahead and just take the plasma cutter and blow the rest of this plate off here, and uh, we'll get going. 